Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Mike here from Team Mirror Adventures. So I'm here outside still, I'm still cooking outside. It's not too bad, it's not too cold. Today video, I'm making a, um, some meat pie. Some meat pie for the weather. I have to make, get a lot of protein for the, for the winter, for the cold. So today I'm making a meat pie. So let me show you the ingredients I have. And once again, thank you for watching from advance. I want to say thank, uh, my, my condolences go to the family in Guyana. If the, the family get born in, in the fire, it's sad to see what happened there. Someone, I heard someone light the fire and caused the problem. So my condolences go to the entire family. All right guys, so let me show you the uh, ingredients I have for the meat pie, the dough. And then we will get to the filling. So here, I have four cup of flour. I use now purple fl uh, purple flour. One teaspoon of Himalayan salt. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of baking powder. And this is optional turmeric. I, I I like to put a little turmeric inside. I put a teaspoon of turmeric. I have quite a cup of water here. I have two egg here. And I have a seven eighths um, cup of butter here. So uh, what I did, I usually mix it with butter and sharting. Cross a little um, crisp and I so I added some sharting with butter in here. So that's the, uh, the ingredients for the dough. All right. So what we gotta do? We got all the um, dry together. The sugar. I have the uh, Himalayan salt. I have the baking powder. I have the turmeric, so we can mix this up first and then we add it again. In the winter they have used a lot of protein so they don't feel cold in the winter. It's starting to get colder but we can't complain because the weather is still not that bad. There's a lot of fire, wildfire all over the place right now in Jersey, California. We had some in New York here also right by the Bell Park. We had uh, I think some by um, Central Park. I think we had that somewhere more had some more fire so there's a lot of wildfire around because we didn't get rain for a long time. We're going to add the, the, um, the butter and the sharting. So you want the butter to be cold, so you just cube it. And the water I'm using is also cool water. You want the butter cold, you don't want it soft. It's different like when you're baking the cake. Now everything has to be room temperature, it got to be warm. So this is the sharpening was at the bottom. I'll put in some sharpening. Get the dough crispy and nice. So we can mix this up now. Get them nice and crumbly like, um, like bread crumbs. I think this should be good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so we got add our egg in. A little cool water. So as you mix it good, then you can add more water to it. So we got add some more water here. But I start off with a quarter cup. And as you start to mix, then you add a little, little by little. Knead it until we get a smooth, nice dough. It's good to so cover this, leave it, and then we will work on the um, filling. All right, guys, here we go. <coughs> so now. You have the machine, put this here, you lock it down, perfect. See, not moving. So we're using a thicker grater. You have a finer one if you want to make, make it finer, because I'm grating some uh, carrot for the uh, filling for the meat pie. So we're going to put this in here. Attach the handle at the back here. So this is just the handle here. It's really easy to set up. First time I'm trying it, hopefully it works. Because I see it on the TV and it works real good. So I have three carrots here. This I have a grate to put inside the um, inside the meat pie. It's not gonna work, it's too big. I'll get a smaller bowl to put under there. Take our top. Put 
Wow. Look at this. It's cool, it's cool. Very nice machine. Take this and pull it out there all the time. Alright guys, so the perfect machine, invest in one of this machine. Very good. You can put cabbage, cauliflower, zucchini, squash, and you can put it here, grind it. And I use the coarse as thicker size grinder there. See it comes like it's five different, you could grate and how fine you want it. And so you can make French fries like you can um, Chick fil A french fry with this one. You can make the french fry with this one. So later on, I will make some more menu with this machine. I will show you the rest of, show the rest of greater work. It's a really good machine. I approve this machine. Five star on this machine. Yeah, I forgot to mention. See how good this grip is. Really, it's not moving. It's really locked tight on the um, table here. Can't move. So once you release this, then this it comes free. It's really good. <laughs> I was going to say next time I do some more video with cooking, different menu, I'll show you the different type of blade. One day we're going to make some french fries. I'm going to show you how nice it cut the french fry. I see it on the TV, I never try it. But it really looked good and I, I just tested it out with the carrot. Came out real nice, cold stick. If you want it more fine, you have to find the blade. You could make it more finer if you want to make coleslaw, things like that. If you want to make some patties, veg, veggie patties, chicken patties, you could grind it fine. Make your patties. I right, said so we'll get to the filling already, guys. All right, guys. So let's get to the filling. So I have the chicken here. I have like uh, three medium breasts cut up. So once I finish cooking, then I'll put it in the processor and just pulp it a little. So first, we add some Himalayan salt. We can put some adobo here. Now I always like to put adobo and everything. Shazan. All spice. This I will add later. This is a curry powder. We'll add this later on. Everything is in the um, kahari. Some garlic powder. Some lemon pepper. You can put any kind of spice you want. You want it hot. Any spice you want, you could add any spice in here. So everybody make it different. It's paprika. Everybody make them uh, meat quite different. Not the same. Everybody don't make it the same. Let me mix this up a little. You can add some sesame oil inside here, but um, I thought I had, I don't have any right now, so I'm not putting any sesame oil to this. Black pepper, a little black pepper. Maybe we put a little more paprika, give it a little more heat. But we can add some later on anyway, so. I got this stove on, the oil is hot in there. You can drop this in the aisle. I gotta wash my hand first. Alright, so we got our chicken in the aisle. Okay. We need a mess here. Alright, guys, so the chicken is cooking here. Once it's finished cooked. I will put it in full press the sand, just pulp it, not too fine friend. Now this could be a nice menu here with some broccoli, broccoli and chicken. There's a sesame oil, with some um, soy sauce, something like that. And make some nice broccoli and chicken you can make it this way. Now you guys see the chicken is brown and nice now, we'll take the chicken out from here. Then I will pulp it in the full press the sand, then we can do the um, pigeon peas and the onion, then we can add back the chicken. This is good there. You want to know fine, fine and then that's perfect. Let's see, we got the onion here now. Are you carrot here? 
Let's see, let it cook and then after this, can cook them we got the uh, pigeon peas. Alright guys, so we got the pigeon peas here. Okay, let us cook uh, for 10 minutes or so and then we add the chicken back into it. Alright guys, so chicken back in. So this one. I have a little more of this ginger side sauce. I'm going to put this inside. I'm going to back a little paprika now. And that's some garlic powder. Now we got the curry. The curry powder. Not too much, just a little. You can put it in masala if you want to. I don't know, that's why I cook different because that's how we do it, okay? Let's give it a taste, see how it is. Good. So I have a good season, good, everything is good. You don't need anything more. So now we got the potato. The potato on a boil it, I boil it with salt. Alright okay, guys, so this is the meat pie filling here. You can add some shallot if you want, but um, right now we run out of shallot. So we don't have any shallot, I'm not putting any shallot. And guys, you know, you can make it any kind of season you want to put, any kind of veggie you want to put in there, you can put, you can add it inside here. Alright okay, guys, so you can let it fill in cool on a little. I already uh, shape out the the patty is here, so now we gonna roll this out and start to fill it. Have the stove um, preheating, 350. We gonna bake it for like about two or five, five minutes. Nice and golden brown. You see how beautiful uh, the the. Um, so I just roll this one. I forgot the camera was up. So I just roll this one out. See how beautiful the turmeric have the color on it. So now we got a little water to just seal the edge. A little water here. So you can put around the edge to seal it. This is a lot of filling, so I think I might have to just put water on the edge here. Get over far. Kick it over a notch, you can add some cheese in if you want. Alright. So here is our patties here. So I had the camera up just now, so. Let's go. Uh, so we got finished roll out all of these, fill it up, and then we'll show you back what it look like. Alright guys, so we got our um, meat pie fill. So I have one egg yellow, the egg yellow, one tablespoon of water. We mix it up and we can baste this. Now it's at 350 degree for 35, for 30, 35 minutes. Make sure you don't uh, open up the oven till around 25 to 30 minutes to check on it. Because you open it too early, then they mess the whole thing up. Because the air heat comes up from the oven and they mess the whole bakery up. Alright, guys. So here are um, meat pie. I just take it out of the oven. So it is nice and brown and see the turmeric how you got given a nice yellowish color. And then the next thing I forgot to mention a lot of people use just butter alone. I use shortening. Get the, um, the dough. Crunchy and nice, so I put always put on the chart inside. So I'm gonna break one and show what it look like. It's still hot, it's smoking. This is the inside, it's still smoking. Real good. See the, the, the chart make the dough kind of crunchy and nice, flaky and nice. Very flavor. So give it a try. Everybody big different. This is how I make my meat pie. You can add more stuff if you want more seasoning, more vegetable. 
But this is how I make it. And guys, um, thank you for watching and try out that grinder I show you. We're going to make some more video with a grinder. We do a lot more stuff. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you like this recipe. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you back in the next adventure.